Oh, that was good. Just nailed that one. Oh, <laughs> another rip. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful large mouth there, guys. Nailed it, Keith Berker. That's so uh, cool. Oh, wow! Oh. It's pretty hard to start, so it's pretty long range. It's medium sized red, but hey. Well, we're off on another adventure up north, and uh, really last minute decision to head up, and yeah caught up with my mate Will this morning just gave him a quick call and said mate the weather looks fantastic up north would you like to go on a trip and he said yep I'm gonna take a couple of days off work so just picked him up off uh, Jin Jin and he's at his mate's place and he's parked his car just here Rick and Tina is it right yeah, That's it, mate. They've, yeah, 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 yeah. they've been lovely enough to uh, let Will park his car here so that'll be safe for a couple of days but yeah we're off on uh, a couple of day adventure so Fingers crossed the fish are biting and we get a little bit further than where we did last time, so stay tuned. There's the man himself. We've got the pea plates. <laughs> I'll make you a cup of coffee on the way home, mate. Thank you very much, Rick. That no. might come in handy. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful property here, by the way. So, yeah, it's massive. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you very much, mate. I reckon I could get used to this. <laughs> Hey, Says. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. I'm keen, very keen. Alrighty, we're off. Let's go. <laughs> it's 9:30. Uh, another six hours and a bit to go. The uh, the cowling. Uh, Yami outboard cover sort of flown off, so yeah, hopefully nothing else happens on the way up. Let's keep going. Well, 14 hours later, we finally arrived at the boat ramp. That drive was pretty pretty tough towards the end, but yeah, we got here. It's about 4, uh, 4.45 at the moment, so yeah, we just, uh, Will's just unloading all the rods out of the car, and yeah, we're going to start getting this boat ready hit the water and hopefully um yeah we'll make it out there in pretty good time so stay tuned see you in the water sounds you want to hear in the morning <laughs> absolutely glorious sunrise the adventure big news yeah all right let's do this We've just made it out to our first spot what an absolutely dream run that was across um cutting across it was yeah we, i think we did about 30 31 knots the whole way and it's absolutely mint uh the forecast is supposed to be really uh glassy for the next two days so we're going to do a night on the reef on the outer reef and um yeah hopefully the there's a few fish biting um we've got a full moon tomorrow so big tide so I think most of those bottom, uh, you know, the reefies will probably chew um, sort of an hour either side of the tide changes. But uh, yeah, we're going to drop a few baits down. We're just going to start in that 50, 60 metre depth to start with and uh, sort of work our way around the reefs. And hopefully there's a few bits of action for you. Got a good mate, Will. You've probably seen him already, but just two yeah. of us today. So <laughs> Keen as he's sand, frothing. Sand is lit up already. <laughs> All right, we're gonna rig up and uh, get stuck into the action. Okay, gonna start off with this 250 gram pink berserker. Just running a 100 pound leader. 
sounds heavy but yeah it's not that heavy when you're fishing heavy structure so and yeah just running the new Terrain seven foot two I haven't caught a fish on this one yet so really excited um, it's a 30 to 50 pound no 40 to 80 pounds sorry and just matched up with a 14k Stella so yeah it's a nice bottom bashing rig I find um, combo hopefully it does the job so as I said before we've got a massive run in tide at the moment and high tides around 9 15 today thereabouts so yeah I've just coming up onto this mark now in 55 and you can see on three times zoom it's uh, pretty lit up um, don't know whether the fish will hit because it's still you know running pretty hard but we're gonna give it a go and hopefully There'll be a hungry fish ready to munch our lures <laughs> or baits. Just bomb it all the way down. There we go. I'm just in reverse. Sort of slowly backing up on the marks. And I'm actually reversing with the current. Current's running that way. So I just want to stay as vertically straight up and down as I can with the baits. And you can jig it if you need to. There we go. Sort of just ate it off the bottom there. Hee hee hee! Nice mate. Let's kill that engine. He's not a bad fish. Ooh. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, yeah he's, he's coming up. No, it's not too bad. Thanks, mate. It's nice to get a mm. fish first drop, eh, hey, mate? There we go. Got a bit of colour. What is? Looking like a red to me, Johnny. You reckon? A big what is he, a nanny? Nice red. Yeah, nice. Hee hoo! How good is that, mate? Alrighty. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Alright, let's get him in. Just watch your foot, buddy. Hee hoo! Good stuff. Hey. Thanks, Will. Oh, Cheers, legend. Just look your nanny, man. There we go. Will's running the uh, red 250 grammar Zerka. You see it right in the corner of its mouth. Nice work, Beautiful. buddy. Beautiful <laughs> nanny. <laughs> and I got one. Oh, just a medium sized red, but hey, no one's complaining. There we go. Nice, healthy, medium sized red. First drop of the day. Yeah, good. He's come and nailed the pink Berserker. Absolutely cracking fish. Conditions are absolutely amazing as well, so super stoked. We're gonna get back into it because uh, I think the action's gonna heat up. <laughs> Cheers, matey. Two down, two up. That wasn't a mullet fit, that one. Yeah, my nanny had a squid. Yeah, nice. We'll see how it goes. Again. Yeah, they're good sized tubes. Yeah, that's really like, nice. Just nice squid drop. Down we go. Water's not as deep blue as I thought it'd be, but it's all right. The fish is still here. Yeah. Good luck, Will. You too, Johnny. <laughs> Straight on, mate. Yes. Go, Will. There we go. It's not a bad fish. It is a good fish. Yeah. You all good? Do you need help? Oh. That looks like a nice fish, man. Yeah. Have you got Johnny? I think I've got another little red, mate. 
Not a big one, but looks legal. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Phew. Good. How good's that? Oh, phew. Two from two on the reds. <laughs> oh, using up all my luck at one go. It's almost a pigeon pair. Check that out. That's so cool. Okay, let's get this off. Okay, Johnny. Back. Oh yes, so I'm straight back in. Just making a quick drop. Yep. Yeah, all right. There we go. Second drop, another red. <laughs> you. Oh, it's been a tough couple of months, so this is really, really nice. Lifting my spirits already. <laughs> Beautiful colours on them. Super tasty at this size, so yeah, probably crumb them up a little bit later and uh, have a nice fish wrap with them, I reckon. <laughs> cool, we're gonna get stuck back into it. Let's go. I often get asked, you know, how do you find good ground? And I guess the biggest way I could describe it, or the best way I could describe it is, is that you've got to do really long drifts. Um, and when you're traveling at speed, you're not gonna really mark, you know, such a small blip on the sounder, so. If you do find an area that you do like, it, it doesn't. It pays to just do super long drifts or do slow figure of eights, and that way you work out uh, what's sitting on that particular mark. Alrighty, let's go again. So yeah, I'm sort of ten minutes to go. When I get to blue, I know I'm sort of pretty much on the bottom. So. There we go. Right. Oh, no. Oh, something good just nailed that one. I was just slow, slowly jigging it. Ooh. <laughs> he came and nailed that one. Oh, come on. Give us a look at you. Oh. This rod's nice. So yeah, we're not dissecting this rock the same, like this is our fourth drift on this particular mark, but every time I've sort of just been going sort of five to 10 meters either side of it. And uh, yeah, you don't want to sort of just pepper it all the time and just, there's a lot of fish always sitting around the rock I find. So, oh, hopefully it's not getting sharked. He had, a, he had a good couple of head shakes at the gas start, which made me think he was an all right fish. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> oh, not desired species, but oh, we'll get him in anyway. Phew. There we go, nice googly eye. <laughs> Cod. Yeah, not the desired species, but yeah. Fought pretty hard at the start, so big gobbling him, but he's probably not going to release that well, so we'll just hang on to him for now. But yeah, they're not bad on the chew. All right, let's go again. There we go, they always say when you find a sea snake, always sound around that area. It's good fishing always when you see sea snakes. <laughs> well, we've just moved spot. That uh, first spot shut down a little bit, so yeah, we, you know, it always pays to move around, don't stay in the same spot. So it's about nine o'clock at the moment, and uh, yeah, we've just pulled up to our second spot. Fishing slightly deeper at the moment, so yeah, we're gonna have a drop and see if there's any fish holding on it. Well, summer's well and truly here. <laughs> We've got 28.7 degrees water temp, which is uh, nice and balmy. <laughs> you can see 
a lot of blue specks all just dotted along the bottom, hugging them really, really tight to the bottom. So, yeah, there's some fish there. So, hopefully, they're hungry. Let's go. There we are. We've got a little bit of coral reef structure there that I just snagged. Um, so, yeah, it's obviously got a bit of broken rubble and it's got a bit of coral there as well. So, a little bit of structure for the fish to hang around. All right, let's go back and go get again get another one. <laughs> All righty, let's see if I don't get snipped off again, mate. Huh. Hopefully not. Oh, I've been snipped off a few times. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Let's go to the bottom. Something followed that up. I don't know what that was. That's it, got him. Yeah, nice. He's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Came and nailed that one off the bottom. Oh, yeah, he's a good fish. Oh good, thanks mate. This rod's nice. Oh yeah. It's not a bad nanny mate. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> nice large mouth. Yes! Woo! Nothing wrong with him. Nice job, Eddie. Thanks, Ledge. Ah, Cheers, good Will. Stuff. Nice work mate, double hook up. You that's a good nanny. There we go, a beautiful largemouth nanny guy. We've sort of been driving around searching for ground before and it's been a little bit quiet for the last hour and a bit. Come across some really nice ground again and uh, first couple of drops, this is the result. So this time it's the white uh, 250 gram berserker. So yeah, we're gonna get back into the action. So stay tuned, cheers. Go Will, gotta get him up mate. That's a big fish mate. I'll come give you a hand. Be a nice fish, man. Oh. Don't give up, mate. That's how that's how Steve's red went. It's okay, let him go. Wow. <laughs> Look at that telica, guys. <laughs> this could be an absolute thumper, mate. Nice job. Nice work. There we go. Will's just landed this for, he's probably at least what, 11, 12 kilo this thing? Yeah, he's pretty More. solid, pretty thick. <laughs> Cracking Chinaman. Is that your biggest one or no? Oh, probably not quite, not quite. <laughs> pretty close, but. Yeah, there's a crack of fish, mate. All right, yeah. let's spear him back in, eh? Yeah. Off he goes. Maybe, maybe not. Nice. Go on, mate. Off you go. There we go. So I feel a little bit more encouragement. Off he goes. Nice work, Will. Oh! Wow! Oh! <laughs> I was just, I was just winding it in super fast and coming and nailed it right at the boat. <laughs> he scared the bejesus out of me. Oh. What is it, I think it's a tuna. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was crazy. <laughs> Oh, that was cool. <laughs> oh, good bait, eh? Good bait, at least. Was it Spanish? Oh, 
Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, he's coming for it. It's a pack of them, man. Cool. If we hook up, we're going to have to hit reverse here. <laughs> Come on. Oh, decent size one. Oh, it's a couple of good fish. Big G, oh, a couple of GTs I just saw. Well, we finished uh, fishing out wide for today. Yeah, fishing got a little bit slow this afternoon, so we basically uh, come into the shallows and going to try and feed a few fishies along the cliffs. Water visibility is not great, but um, see a couple of fusies and stuff there already. So, pretty sure as soon as we start throwing a bit of bait in the water, uh, the fish will start coming in and smashing it. So. Yeah, it wasn't too bad of a morning. We had some really nice reds and nannies and stuff like that. So, oh, here we go. Here's a hump headed Maori wrasse. Big one. How yeah, cool is that? Like oh, there's another one right here. That's massive. Yeah, barely him up, man. Oh, she nailed it. <laughs> Give one for the wrasse. <laughs> He's a big one. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, how cool is that? Nice work, mate. Right? <laughs> uh, he's big, eh? Whoa! <laughs> How cool is that, eh? Here we go. Oh, he's too slow. <laughs> All right, my first dive. Pretty cool, eh? That's a wrap ladies and gentlemen, uh, we ended up just doing a, a one day trip on the reef instead of two days that we originally planned, uh, yeah so we had heaps of food that we brought back but um, yeah we had enough fun just for a day exploring new, new country, uh, doing a bit of bottom bashing as well as doing some top water stuff, um, had limited fuel so decided to just pull the pin early and um, we already burned 500 litres of fuel. Um, in the one day so we thought oh well we've got 100 litres left we'll just make sure we're safe and uh, make sure we make it back to the ramp so yeah oh, it was a really good day it was Will's first time up in Airlie so yeah really nice and scenic for him but um, yeah we'll, we'll have a bit more over summer uh, trips planned up to the reef so sorry for all the car noises but uh, yeah back in Brizzy now as you guys are probably aware so yeah thank you very much for the support um, yeah, it's been a big year and looking forward to some more adventures in the new year. So stay tuned and uh, tight lines to everyone. Take care.